Hey, welcome to One Little Coda. How are you doing? Did you eat well? OpenAI just launched its voice models, including a voice agent SDK. But the best part here is the cost. It is highly cost efficient. And the worst part it is that it is not as good as 11 Labs during my testing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I feel about OpenAI's voice models and what kind of things that you can do. And we are going to do a price comparison with 11 Labs. First of all, let me show you some demos about this model. One good thing about this model is this model is building on top of GPT 4.0. That means this model is going to be like a multimodal model than being a specific TTS model. So I'm going to just like run this for you so that you can listen to it. It says, all right, folks, OpenAI just launched their voice models and it is almost 70% cheaper than 11 Labs business plan. Let me play it for you. All right, folks, OpenAI just launched their voice models and it's almost 70% cheaper than 11 Labs business plan. This is the voice that says worse. If you, you can like basically change the voice. You've got something valid. All right, folks, OpenAI just launched their voice models and it's almost 70% cheaper than 11 Labs business plan. So you can basically control how you want the voice to be, the tone, the delivery, everything through a prompt. You also have like some presets that they've given. There's a patient teacher, a cowboy, eternal optimist, bedtime story. So if you were to read this as a bedtime story. All right, folks. OpenAI just launched their voice models and it's almost 70% cheaper than 11 Labs business plan. So there are like a lot of things that you can do with this. That's a good thing. So you've got like a sympathetic um, voice here. So you can just select any of this voice and then I can say um, this is going to be a great, great night. You need not worry. God is with you. I mean, something like this, if you were to create a meditation app. This is going to be a great night. You need not worry. God is with you. So you can change. You can change the tone. You can do everything that you want. And you have like different vo voices that they've given as uh, the favorite. This is voice. going to be a great night. You need not worry. God is with you. And as you might have seen with this particular voice, the voice quality, I feel, I still feel that 11 Labs has got the highest quality of voice. But in terms of pricing, if you were to just compare this with 11 Labs pricing, so this model comes with a very, really great pricing. So it just costs you dollar point zero one five. I think it's like one and a half cents for a minute, while 11 Labs costs a lot more. So if I were to pick the best 11 Labs plan, so I'm going to just say I'm going to bill annually and I'm going to pick the business plan, which is 1100 per month. And for that, I'm going to get 22,000 minutes. Uh, in a month and like before I add additional and the same thing is 70% cheaper with OpenAI. So I can get the same plan for $330. But what you do not get is you do not get high stability. Like the one that you get with 11 lapses, in my opinion, is highly stable, more robust, doesn't change a lot. But the other thing is that it doesn't, uh, it gives you voice cloning while OpenAI doesn't give you any sort of voice cloning. It is purely a text to speech system. I guess in the future, OpenAI might add voice cloning, but I'm not sure if you can do voice cloning with like a multimodal model like GPT-40. And the other thing here is that this is not a standalone system. I think where OpenAI might succeed is that people already have been paying for OpenAI. A lot of companies have got, uh, let's say, the internal security approval for using OpenAI models. So just pushing these extra API endpoints will make it easier for anybody to use it in a big enterprise than going and getting approval for 11 labs or startup like 11 labs. And in this case, also you can build voice agents. That's something that OpenAI wants you to do. So their primary use case for this is, okay, build voice agents. And they've also like shared a library, which will help you. Like there is a quick start that will help you using OpenAI agents and specifically there is a voice module and you can just basically build the entire voice pipeline so if you were to build something like vp or if you want to build something for a, your automated customer support service then you can use this entire thing like they've got the code all you have to do is plug in your open api key and then just do it and this is not the only use case like i said like the primary use case they want you to use it for voice agent but you can also transcribe audio because there is a model that can do that there is a text to speech model so they've got like these three different models so the text to speech the transcribe and the mini transcribe just basically trying to crush the competition i think they're trying to be competitive with the gemini 2 point of flash because google models are extremely competitive in terms of pricing and also really great at quality 
But if you were to just compare it with these kind of models like Amazon Poly or uh, even 11 Labs, uh, then I think uh, OpenAI model is going to have a strong foot in the market. And it is one of those things that OpenAI has been doing to expand their market presence. And this is also available already within API. So you can just directly go ahead and then use it. A couple of issues that I highlighted is one voice quality in terms of the quality of the voice not how the speech is, not the emotion, not all those things. It's just, just, just the literal quality of the voice. I feel 11 Labs is much better than OpenAI first thing. The second thing is I've always felt with these kind of models like the autoregressive text-to-speech models, I felt like they are not very consistent. I don't know how OpenAI is going to uh, control this, but uh, I think controlling the voice to have consistency has been a bigger issue with uh, autoregressive models than using some uh, traditional sticks to speech model. So this is my opinion. So we can try this like multiple times, listen to it and then see if there is any difference. But if OpenAI can address that, if OpenAI can bring stability and robustness to its sticks to speech, I think this is what you should be using if you're building a, a building, let's say a startup uh, that you want to use to create a text to speech um, within a feature. But either way, I think OpenAI is going to succeed with this uh, just like every other API and we're going to soon see a great open source alternative, probably a video coming in a day or two. See you in another video. Happy prompting.